Hi guys, I'm going to be reading to you a chapter from the 57 bus titled 4.52 p.m. Every AC transit bus is equipped with cameras that continuously record sound and video from multiple vantage points. The 50 bus, 57 bus was no exception. The cameras recorded Lloyd and Richard climbing on the front a little before 5 p.m. and walking down the aisle toward the back. Lloyd chubby in a zipped up black hoodie, Richard in a lean black hoodie over a white t-shirt and an orange billed New York Snicks hat. The bus was a double length one. Two buses fused together like conjoined twins by an accordion pleated rubber stream. Most of the seats were taken. An older woman who wanted to talk to the driver about her route, a mom holding the hands of a little girl in a pink hoodie, a gaggle of laughing teenage boys. How is everything? The driver asked a middle-aged man as he slid the bus past into the machine. Long day, the man replied, shaking his head. Richard recognized a boy named Jamal sitting at the back of the bus and greeted him with a dap. Mally B, Lloyd shouted, following suit. What's up, dude? Jamal was tall and lengthy. He wore jeans and a white hoodie with a thick horizontal black stripe across the shoulders. His voice was low and thick, faded. As the bus started up again, the two cousins gripped the silver pole in front of Jamal. Behind them, Sasha slept. A paperback copy of Anna Karina laid in their lap, dangled over the edge of the seat. Their skirt gauzy and white. It couldn't have been easy to help sleep with Lloyd nearby. He bounced up and down trying to make the bus shake, wrapped a snippet of the song Started From the Bottom by Drake, screeched random words like chinchilla and obituary. He shouted down the aisle to a girl when he noticed they climbed on board. Hey girl, excuse me. A girl in blue basketball shorts turned to look at him. No, your friend, the light-skinned one. Jamal pointed at Sasha, whispered, look at this dude. Lloyd turned and looked over his shoulder. He cackled. On the video, you can't hear what Jamal says as he hands Richard the lighter but you can see him take out his iPhone and point it towards Sasha, as if planning to record. Later, Richard would say that it was supposed to be funny, like the prank show on MTV with Ashton Kutcher, punked. He thought the fabric would smolder for a minute, and then Sasha would wake up and slap it, startled. I need a good laugh, he just said after getting on the bus. Now, he showed the lighter to Lloyd, and he swung the opposite side of the silver pole closer to Sasha. He flicked the lighter by the hem of Sasha's skirt. Nothing happened. Lloyd was still shouting up to the front of the bus. Hey, light-skinned girl. Light-skinned girl, Jamal kept repeating what Lloyd said, his deep voice like an echo from the bottom of a well. Lloyd bounced up the aisle to where the girls were sitting, perching on the edge of a nearby seat. Go ahead, you do it, Jamal said to Richard. Richard flicked the lighter again. Nothing. Rebuffed by the girls, Lloyd returned to his companions, stopping in front of Sasha's sleeping form to shout an abrupt parrot like, Hey! Sasha stirred, but didn't wake. Whoa, you said hey, Jamal echoed, screaming and shit. Lloyd turned. Lloyd leaned close and screeched in Jamal's ear. Richard laughed and slapped Lloyd's hand. Ah, you just broke my neck, Lloyd yelled. Damn. Richard brand shielded the lighter, pretending to light Lloyd's sleeve. He looked at Jamal. Do it, Jamal urged. Lloyd danced between them, landing half on Jamal's lap. Move! Get off me! Jamal grumbled. He kept his eyes on Richard, his phone poised. You might as well do it, he said again. Richard slunk back to Sasha. Flicked the lighter. Nothing. He glanced at Jamal, grinned, and flicked the lighter a fourth time. Back door! Back door! Lloyd called to the driver, ready to make them to make their escape. The doors opened. Richard leaped off the bus. Lloyd started to follow. Then he looked back and stopped, transfixed, as Sasha's skirt erupted into a sheet of flame. When the doors closed again, he hadn't moved.